हेलो सर मैं ऑडिबल सर यस 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 यू मे प्रोसीड हेलो यस 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 सर अरेंजमेंट अरेंजमेंट नीडेड टू मेक ट्रांसपोर्टिंग प्रोडक्ट्स ओके आई जस्ट टोल द एग्जैक्ट आंसर बट योर आंसर इज वेरी मच एप्रोप्रिएट इन केस ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स इट्स अ कमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ गुड टू द कस्टमर्स if you go to the definition of logistics it is the commercial activities of transportation of good to the customer that is known as logistics the next question to ashish ranjan swayam what do you mean by supply chain management ashish ranjan swayam are you there yes 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 sir am i audible ओके सर तो जो सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट बेसिकली इज द मैनेजमेंट स्टेप्स ऑफ द फ्लो ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स टिल द प्रोडक्ट्स कंजम्पशन बाय द एंड कंज्यूमर्स ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू अब्दुल अलीम व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सप्लाई चेन एंड लॉजिस्टिक अब्दुल आर यू देयर यस यस प्रोसीड यू मे प्रोसीड सप्लाई चेन एंड लॉजिस्टिक देवाशीष यू जस्ट म्यूट युअर माइक्रोफोन ओके सर ओके ओके अब्दुल यू मे प्रोसीड सर बेसिकली supply chain management means uh, it is a process of uh, the uh, pro from the procurement of raw materials till the uh, final product okay and what do you mean by logic and uh, yes, yes. and uh, the and uh, it a uh, logistics means uh, it uh, it is specifically uh, done on uh, uh, moving or uh, storing the goods okay okay fine product. same question to abhishek das what is the difference between supply chain and logistics abhishek das you may proceed Abhishek, are you there? Okay, Chinmay, Karo. What is the difference between supply chain? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Supply chain management is a process in which, sir, the flow of goods and services, including all the process, are involved from the raw material to final products. Sir, in case of uh, A logistic. It is the basically process in which the only transformation of goods from the transport. No, that is not a transportation of good. Yes, sir. Sir, transportation. Sir, transportation of good to the customer. Yes, clear. Yes, sir. That okay. is logistic and supply chain. Yes, okay. Next question to Ghanasam Jana. What are the different component of supply chain structure? Ghanasam Jana, are you there? Yes, sir. What are the different component of supply chain structure? Supply chain structure. Structure. So, so ordering, inventory. No, no. This, your answer is uh, incorrect. Okay, Aditya Raj. So, so the planning. So How you may proceed? Yes, yes, Ajit. Sir, planning, information, inventory, production, location, transportation, return of goods. No, no, these are these are not uh, the component structure of uh, supply chain. Okay, Adi, the same. Sir, manu, sir, manufacturer, supplier. Yes. Consumer, customer. Okay, Sumanda is correct. In case of try to understand, the entities are different. 
and component structure are different. So whenever you go for the component of supply chain structure, the supplier, manufacturer, distributor, and consumer are included. Next question to Dibya Jyoti Patra. What is the definition of value chain? Dibya Jyoti Patra. Yes, sir. Ah, you may proceed. Hello. Mm, yes, you are audible. Sir, value chain is a business model that mm. describes the full range of activities and mm. needs that create a product or service. Okay. Same question to Jyoti Moy Panda. What is value chain? Jyoti Moy Panda, are you there? Hello. Yes, yes, you are, you are audible. Yes, sir. The uh, actually value chain is a business model which yes. describes the product, uh, which describes the uh, product service and it uh, uh, minimizes the speed, increases the efficiency. It increases the efficiency, sir. Okay. So, next question to Just a minute. Okay, next question. What is uh, centralized supply chain management? Sagari, can I do? Sagarika, are you there? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We will proceed. What do you mean by sir, centralized? Sir, it is a process. Uh, sir, it is a process uh, which can be managed from uh, from a remote location. Uh, can serve multiple sites. <coughs> okay, you may proceed. Okay, fine. Same question to Siddhant Mahapatra. Siddhant Mahapatra, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, you may proceed. Uh, sir, centralized management. No, centralized supply chain. What do you mean by centralized supply chain? Sir, uh, basically in this uh, only one, uh, uh, in a, like she told, one, one remote location, the police is there from which all the uh, supply chain activities are carried out uh, and different uh, small small hubs are uh, means uh, set up in a far out places to which all the other things are transported to and to. Okay, fine. Our uh, next question to Smuthi Ranjan Swain. What do you mean by inbound logistic? Smuthi Ranjan, are you there? Smuthi Ranjan? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. You may proceed. Sir, inbound logistic means if, uh, the proc when we procurement the uh, raw materials for the for manufacturing. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. Okay. Same question to Aishwarya Mishra. What do you mean by inbound logistic? Inbound, inbound logistic is a process uh, in that inflow of raw materials from uh, manufacture, sorry, supply to manufacture. Okay. Anand Kumar, what do you mean by outbound logistic? Anand Kumar, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, you may proceed. Sir, uh, uh, process of storing and uh, trans distributing goods to the customers. Okay, that is known as outbound logistics. Next question uh, to Chinmay Kara. Can you explain some strategy of uh, strategy for uh, reducing transportation cost? Chinmay Kara. 
हेलो सर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रेटेजी यूज टू मिनिमाइज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट सर ग्रीन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट हाँ इन केस ऑफ सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट कैन यू एक्सप्लेन सम स्ट्रेटेजी दैट रिड्यूस द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट सर ग्रीन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस ओके ग्रीन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस सिद्धांत मोहब्बत राव कैन यू एक्सप्लेन सम स्ट्रेटेजी टू रिड्यूस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट to carry more number of uh, goods so that uh, the uh, to and from motion is reduced thereby reducing the transportation cost and the expenses also okay uh, aishwarya mishra can you explain some sir yes yes sir uh, increasing consumer expectation these are the not strategy as far as consuming transportation okay may you may proceed in other uh, point which is Oh, warehouse location are also good. Okay. Okay. As I told in the previous class, if you apply applied some strategy that directly reduce the transportation cost, we have discussed few or ten years. Okay. Sir, timely planning and scheduling. These are the operational activities. These are not strategy. The strategy is few or ten years. The next strategy is consolidation shipping, and the last one is single sourcing. So, if you take the waste example in case of fewer carriers, suppose you have more number of options is there. In that case, you just choose the lower one, and that lower one carrier or transportation agency that will provide much more incentive or discount regarding transportation activities. The next thing, if uh, as I told in the previous class regarding Flipkart segment, in that Flipkart segment uh, shipment, they directly choose consolidated shipment. and the last one is your single sources so why single sources by offering a transportation out of bid or request quotations you have to choose the best uh, best one and that best one is providing much more facilities in case of transportation activities so that is why in the previous more of more previous classes i will provide the case studies in case of your tata group they assign a third party logistic partner same thing happen in case of your jara also okay so uh, these are the jara things middle one is uh, middle one is consolidating shipping that means what uh, if you choose uh, more number of vendor supplier their size and uh, you can say the size and uh, shape of product is different so you have to bring all the shape and size of product in a particular containers so most of these are used in case of uh, cargo ships which are generally employed of employed for this kind of uh, shipment even if in in case of long trailer is assigned for this kind of shipment okay so these are the question next yes. next question is uh, uh, next question to uh, aishwarya mishra what is the what is the basic requirement of demand forecasting aishwarya mishra are there may proceed yes sir what is the need of demand forecast past value which value past value the company the past value le hum future in the predict kar sakte hain okay the next uh, next to next same same question to abhijit abhijit malik what is the need of demand forecasting sir demand forecasting helps in predicting the future value and it also yes. helps in creating budget also ओके अब्दुल अलीम मिनिमाइज कॉस्ट ही देना मिनिमाइज कॉस्ट यस यस मिनिमाइज कॉस्ट मैक्सिमाइज एफिशिएंस अब्दुल अलीम आर यू देयर ओके सागर का नेगेटिव नाइडो यू मे प्रोसीड सर रिड्यूस रिस्क एंड efficient efficient financial decision yes okay aditya raj what is the role of uh, sub, uh, role of customer relationship management in supply chain management
Aditya, are you there? Aditya Raj. Sir, again question. Role of customer relationship management in supply chain management. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, may I proceed? So because supply chain management has uh, um, de deals with customers, so yes. also the return part is there uh, at the customer's end. Therefore, uh, there, there is need of customer relationship management so that uh, there is a uh, good customer experience with the company. Okay, the next question to... Okay, I, I can explain all the things. Uh, the first thing. Yes. Okay, in case of uh, the role of customer relationship management in case of supply chain, the first you have to achieve the supply chain objective. The next is uh, you just what go for the important customer segment must be identified and the requirements should be go to the intermediary as well as the downstream of the supply chain management. And the next part is the impact of service level on customer that should be understood by the company itself. The next is measure the customer, uh, measure the customer service outcomes. These, these are the things which is considered as a supply, uh, as a customer relationship management in case of supply chain. Sir, the next question. Sir, we can also know the demand of the customers properly. Exactly, exactly. We must know the, the demand of a customer. That is the base, basic objective of your supply chain management. The next question is, uh, what is distribution system? Sagarika Naidu. Sir? What do you mean by distribution system? Distri <clears throat> what do you mean by distribution system? Sir, distribution system, uh, it is, uh, sir, sequential flow procedures, systems and activities. Okay. The next question to Ghanasyam Jana, what are the different type of marketing channels? Ghanasyam Jana, are there? Okay, yes, you may sir. proceed. Sir? Your voice is breaking. Sir, ah, yes. first one is distribution channel and the service channel. Okay. So the, uh, that's all for uh, the today's sessions. I will show some questions which is directly related to your interview. I'll just show that one already sent to your mail also. Just a minute. So these are the questions. We have already discussed uh, for today class as well as uh, previous class. Clear? I'll do, is, it, is it visible to all? Is it visible to all? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, that one already sent to your mail also. Clear? Please go on through this particular question whenever you apply in case of logistic company as well as supply chain related companies. I just uh, quickly gone through these particular things, what we have discussed in the previous class as well as today class. There are some tricky questions given. I just speedily rotate this this one. Okay. These are the questions. For for example, in case of explain what is LTL less than truck load. So in the previous class we have discussed uh, related to the important thing you must go through the 
why people are shifting the raw metal from one place or shifting the good or product from one place to other place by the different uh, transportations in that case they must go for the less than truck shipment in that one that contract between the shipper and transporters transport owners and according to the that particular contract instead of entire truck the shipment are based upon the price weight and the freight and also it is deal with the mileage within designated lanes so these type of question they should ask in your campus okay i just uh, quickly gone through these things and if you could go on to the last page there are some question is given technical questions so operational and situational question on supply chain please uh, go directly go th go through this particular question if you have any doubt we will discuss in the next class and some behavioral question is given in case of uh, uh, logistic company in case of supply chain companies so this uh, behavioral question is very much uh, important as far as concern with the hr hr is concern with the operational activities who are directly involved in that particular companies clear yeah. so i just close this one and move into the next slide in just a minute is it visible to all yes sir okay so today topic is your pipeline inventory and response considerations so before starting this particular topic you must understand the concept of inventory so as you know the inventory is a quantity of good or stock in case, in case of manufacturing inventory uh, this particular raw material component sub component work in progress and finished good are considered as a inventory but in case of service in industries it involve all activities carried out in advance of the customer arrivals so if you go to the hotel industry for for example in that case the what are the inventory of that particular service industries the activities that are carried out in advance of customer arrival but in case of manufacturing you must consider the raw material components sub component working process and finished good these are the inventory so whenever i just repeat the definition inventory is a quantity of good in stock that is the this is the basic definition of inventory moving to the next point so why for carrying inventory the what is the reason behind maintain or maintaining adequate level of inventory the first one is protest against lead time demand So as you know, demand should be up and down, and that should be on fluctuate, fluctuate, fluctuate from customer point of view. Whenever uh, they provide the de demand information, and uh, it it provide the protect against the lead time. So what do you mean by lead time? The the time in between starting and finishing the particular product and service so that is known as lead time. The next point is maintain independence of operation. So as you know, in case if you provide or if you arrange inventory in your operational activities or your manufacturing activities it provide a particular independence of operation there is no particular congestion or some buffer should be occur the maintain independence of operational activities the next part is that that balance supply and demand the next part is the buffer on certainties so why buffer due to or due to some problem in case of transportation in case of manufacturing activity in case of service inventory if there is any difficulty that 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 make a buffer in between number of service or number of workers or number of transportation activities so due to uh, maintain a optimized level of inventory it reduce the buffer uncertainties and the next one is economy order quantities so if you go to the definition of economy order quantity it ideally order quantity of a company that should purchase minimize inventory cost such as holding cost storage cost and order cost so these are the basic reason behind inventories moving to the next slide so next slide is the types of inventories so as you go to the first type that is cycle stock inventory in that cycle stock inventory inventory for immediate use typically produced in batches that is known as production cycle the next type of inventory is safety stock the extra inventory carried out for uncertainty in case of demand and supply 
and that is also called buffer stock or buffer stock inventories moving to the next slide till that you have any doubt from the pbs class in today class anyone we will be just slow down the online classes due to your campus so that's why i am directly focus on this question and answer any doubt yes anyone okay fine move into the next one next type of inventory the next type of inventory is anticipation inventory so if you directly go to the point number 1 inventory carried in anticipation of event suppose there are two to three number of work stations work, work work sequentially and any kind of maintenance related difficulties occur so that particular machine needs some component in the form of inventory that is known as anticipation of event and the next point is smooth out the flow of production in case of supply chain pipeline inventories the next one is it is also play as a inventory in transit i will explain what is pipeline inventory in the next slide the next is exist because of the point of supply and demand are not same and the last one it is also known as transportation inventory and the last one is the last type of uh, last uh, you can say that is last type of inventory is that is maintenance and repair and operating items in short it is called mro so this type of inventory not directly related to the product creation and it is also known as seasonal or hedge inventories so these are the different type of inventory moving to the next one the most important thing that is known as pipeline inventory this type of inventory is known as pipeline inventory in case of pipeline inventory try to understand the inventory is a basic component of any retail or wholesale operation so inventory management is essential task in case of pipeline inventory it consists of item that share the transit that is known as pipeline between location and such as those en route from warehouse to the retail outlet so these type of inventory should be known as your transit input and that should be uh, that should be directly insert in case of location as well as warehouse to the retail outlet so moving to the definition of Uh, retail outlet or the or you can say that is the function of pipeline inventory so in case of pipeline inventory it refer to the product that are in company shipping chain that have yet to reach the ultimate destination i repeat the pipeline inventory refer to those product that are in company shipping chain and that have yet to reach their ultimate destination suppose mahindra and mahindra company order a various type of component for the assemble of automobiles from a different companies so that different companies shipping those component to your mahindra and mahindra assemble center and these inventory are in transit mode and these are known as pipeline inventory that is the concept behind it so while these item are in transit they are still considered to be the part of shipper inventory and if the recipient has not yet to pay for them so due to tra transit mode of this particular inventory and these inventory are considered the shipper's inventories in the form of pipeline inventories and the, and the recipient has not yet to pay for that particular thing so when the recipient pay for them even if the recipient has not taken physical custody of this particular item these are known as pipeline inventory directly goes to the recipient inventories say again please suppose uh, so not uh, yeah. not able to give an example okay okay so in case of uh, suppose uh, uh, you can choose any kind of company for example in case of uh, your tata group for tata group tata want some dif want some different part and component for other company so that other company or xyz company directly ship through the supply chain to that particular industries okay in that case what will happen it is the pipeline inventory of that xy company clear yes sir tata well, i just repeat the same thing in the in the form of other mode maan lo tata company ne kuch xyz company ko assign kiya hai component making ke liye wahan se usne component purchase ka in purchase karne ke liye invoice bheja 
तो जब इनवॉइस भेजेगा दैट एक्स वाई कंपनी इज रेडी टू शिप दोज कॉम्पोनेंट टू टाटा ग्रुप बट बट ये टाटा ग्रुप हेड नॉट पे फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर इन्वेंट्री एंड दीज इन्वेंट्री आर इन द मोड ऑफ ट्रांजिट विच इज नोन एज पाइपलाइन इन्वेंट्री if you go to the last point when the recipient pay for the item even if that recipient has not taken physical custody to maan lo tata ne usko mangaya aur usko physical custody nahi liya but tata had already pay for this particular assembles clear and that pipeline inventory goes to the recipient inventories do recipient inventory matlab ke category mein jayega that pipeline inventory that is the consumer suppose you have purchased a few components for your bike through the online mode clear to maan lo tumne apne bike ke liye kuch matlab component online mode mein through ek e-commerce you have purchased from that e-commerce site in that e-commerce site that whenever you pay that is under the shipper's transit inventory that should be considered the shipper transit inventory and that that is known as pipeline inventory for that shipper because you are not physically uh, taken the custody of that particular items so whenever you physically take or physically take the custody of this particular item or receive the particular item it is your inventory and for that particular shipper it that is known as pipeline inventory that is the concept behind it so moving to the next one yes, So, for example, if a so, uh, if a wholesaler buy a stock from a overseas manufacturer, that stock is considered pipeline inventory, and if it is not even still in the process of being shipped from the manufacturer, so as I told the case study of Tata Steel or uh, Tata Mode Automotives, the Tata Automotive has uh, more number of overseas manufacturer in case of uh, making automotive component, making automotive engines component, clear. in that case that that inventory or that uh, uh, that order they are directly goes to your pipeline inventory the next is as soon as the inventory is paid for it is considered the pipeline inventory until it reaches to the final destination so whenever the tata group has receives those things okay the tata group which receives those things that is under inventory of tata group but till that it is not up, not reach up to the final destination it is known as pipeline inventories going to the third point calculating your pipeline inventory allow you to more accurate track how much cash is tied off in the inventory and overhead is likely to, likely like that is the carrying cost so in that case in that pipeline inventory the most important thing is they must add some carrying costs the last point is business with lead time need to pay particular attention in pipeline inventory because production can take month and counting stock does not accurately reflectly in case of inventories so that is why the most important thing in in the inventory is that reduce the lead time as you know in case of businesses with lead time need to pay particular attention to the pipeline inventories so whenever you provide a particular order to xyz company and it is not reach up to the final destination that should be that should be most important factor as far as concern with the production that take month for counting stock and that does not accurately reflect on the company side or company inventory level also so moving to the next one then the there is a question is arise what do you mean by lead time ashish ranjan ashish ranjan yes sir yes sir what do you mean by lead time so lead time is the uh, time taken uh, to process the uh, what we can say uh, demand uh, from the customers yes. uh, fr from the initiation uh, till the completion of the process okay same question what do you mean by lead time gona samjana uh, so we can say the ideal time of uh, uh, processing the there is the try to listen there is no particular negative marking for this particular question here yes sir you just provide the basic thing we that you understand so can i answer did you know yes 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 you proceed smuthi proceed sir the time between taking the order and delivering to it 
to the customer that is known as lead time exactly the next question is what are the cost are added in case of transportation aditya raj ashish just mute your microphone yes sir yes sir what are the sir, cost tra tra transportation uh, costs inventory cost try to understand my question what are the cost are added in case of transportation suppose you so fuel suppose you cost uh, yes and uh, driver salary cost okay and toll booths all that uh, sir uh, okay toll toll pleasure cost yes sir. anything else and petroleum cost petroleum cost okay maintenance okay last one is maintenance so if you go for transportation activity the first one is your maintenance cost fuel cost wages of uh, driver and co-pilot then the toll plaza cost these costs are added clear the next question is what are the type of costs include in case of uh, uh, you can say that is uh, distribution channel sir vendor charges okay vendor charges abdul you may proceed what sir marketing channel mein kya kya cost joda jata hai what are the cost are include in case of distribution or marketing channel ha uh, sir marketing channels mein advertisement ka ek expense lagta hai okay advertise advertise cost or promotional cost anything else uh. ओके अभिषेक दास व्हाट आर द कॉस्ट आर एडेड इन केस ऑफ योर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल और मार्केटिंग चैनल सर अगेन अगेन सर अगेन व्हाट आर द कॉस्ट एडेड इन केस ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन चैनल चिन्मय कर चिन्मय कर आर देर सर यस व्हाट आर द कॉस्ट आर एडेड सर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट ऑफ द व्हीकल्स ओके सर द द एम्प्लॉइज आर इन्वॉल्व इन द सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट प्रोसेस दैट कॉस्ट सर इन्वेंटरी कॉस्ट इन्वेंटरी कॉस्ट आल्सो एडेड ओके तो दी दी जाती है इन्वेस्टेड फॉर Uh, for providing demand information, then transportation, then receiving, then storage, uh, then in case of inbound logistic, then outbound logistic. These are should be this this uh, uh, this number of points should be considered whenever you go for pipeline inventory. Moving to the next one, so if you go to the example of this particular pipeline, for example, in many instances, especially in overseas shipment, inventory can remain in the transit pipeline for for days or For a week at a times, and for instance, the shipment of video game. For example, in case of shipment of video games console made in Japan, and can take several days to arrive in in by container ship to an American port. So, if the wholesaler has already purchased the console, they are the part of that wholesaler's inventory until that should be sell them in the retail outlet of that particular customers. So, when the retail outlet purchase the console from the wholesale. the pipeline inventory directly goes to goes to on their particular records so just imagine most of the uh, costly or branded cars clear these are directly collect through the pipeline inventories because if you go to to the do go to the overseas or in case of your custom custom car in that case the uh, these uh, components or components are ordered through the transit inventory modes and that should be assembled inside india but nowadays due to 
uh, involvement of many multinational uh, automotive companies uh, they they directly they directly establish their assemble center in india and it is happened due to the involvement of uh, transit inventory and it is happened due to the pipeline inventories and that is why the cost of this particular in inventory is very much higher side if you take the example of harley davidson bike in that case the cost is very much higher side as compared to our indian made bikes because the custom charges is very much higher side clear so moving to the next one so in case of pipeline inventory it, that can be calculated by multiple your lead times how long it takes between the ordering and receiving stock so by your demand rate the how many units you can sell if you go to the calculation or the by the formula that is lead time into demand rate so if you have pen paper just note out this form, formula that is pipeline inventory equals to your lead time into demand rate so here just small small example for example when you use 70 hydro making needles for a week and you buy them in a lot of 280 and it takes three weeks for order order handling and shipment so before starting the particular problem first you have to calculate the cycle inventory so what is the formula for cycle inventory that is q by 2 so what is q that is buy them in a lot that is total demand in a lot that is 280 divided by 2 that is 140 number of needle then you again calculate the pipeline inventory so in case of pipeline inventory the demand rate is 70 and the total number of year uh, week uh, the time period is given that is the lead time is given that is three weeks so whenever you multiply the total number of pipeline inventory is 210 number of inventory deals clear Sir, the cycle inventory ta kon bank mane ta to sir it is useful and kiji the transportation cycle that is that is transportation cycle so whenever you buy in that case i'll show that particular uh, another example clear so before starting that one just uh, go for this one so in case of a company use 100 number of bearing in a week okay and the company buy them in a lot of 200 so 200 uh, suppose you are or uh, uh, use 100 number of fearing but the companies buy 200 for buying this particular items you need to it take two weeks clear and the next thing is you have to calculate the cycle inventory and calculate the pipeline just calculate that one Sir, cycle inventory is 100. Okay. And pipeline, that is 100 into 2. 2. 200. 200. Clear? 2 weeks to 24 days. 2 weeks, 2 weeks. So, 24 days no money. Only two weeks. Two, two. Weeks, two no hours. 24 days no money. Clear? Okay, sir. Okay. Moving to the next sir, one. Sir, it is just put yes, sir. Sir, there are 30 days. Keep put 35 days. Sir, I can convert. No, no, no. Direct. You have to direct, directly take the value. Suppose in case of questions, two weeks even, you take two. Suppose three months given, you take three. Clear. You know. Uh, so unit came to the by unit. Unit in the that should be in, in the form of number. Clear. Total number. Yes, sir. Okay. Just note the what is the pipeline inventory formula? That is your demand into lead time. So whenever demand. Fourteen hundred. Okay. Okay. Two hundred. Okay. Two hundred is the answer. Clear. Okay. Moving to the next one. The next one is decoupling inventory. So in case of decoupling inventory, it involves separating the inventory within manufacturing process so that inventory associated with one stage of manufacturing process does not slow down the other process. So this is other type of inventory. In case of decoupling inventory, it involves in separating inventory within a manufacturing process. So that inventory associated with one stage of manufacturing process does not slow down the other process. I'll show the particular 
example suppose so this is uh, t number of workstation is given in this particular figure stage 1 is pro process is there stage 2 process is there stage 3 process is there suppose stage 1 process contain three number of workstations clear and stage 2 uh, contain four number of workstation and similarly stage 3 contain three number of workstation so if you go to the decoupling inventory in case of manufacturing normally involves many steps and many workstation are there the raw material passes through many process to meet the finished good so that the planning so such process is important it become very much complex as well to solve the solve this one you have to implement the decoupling inventories so what is the role of decoupling inventory it just separate the inventory levels and never affect the other inventories that is the concept behind as i told in the previous one it involves separating the inventory within manufacturing process so that inventory associated with one stage of manufacturing process does not slow down the other process that means in that case whenever the as compared to uh, stage 2 the stage 1 is very much slow so whenever you introduce decoupling inventory in that case is doesn't affect the previous process and it directly smooth the operation of raw material which passes through the stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 sequentially that is the concept of decoupling inventory that is why company are providing uh, that is known as your kanban system or uh, you know the kanban system uh, that is a signal board and that signal board contain the uh, different level uh, of inventories and and that inventory and their spe specification should be given how much inventory needed how much in the store and how much is involved in the process that should be written in that particular kanban sign board and due to that kanban process it is easy to involve the decoupling inventory in the process to smooth the operation of flow of metal from one place to other process so move into the next one then the function of uh, your decoupling inventory in case of a function of decoupling inventory a decoupled inventory consists of inventory stock set aside in the event of a slow down or stoppage in production so this issue can occur when one part of production in line work at different speed than other when this happen the production line stall and the production remain unfinished which reduce the renewal uh, renewal rate of your inventory stock so if you found any kind of difficulty in different type of workstation suppose you in a particular workshop there are four to five number of workstation is there and each and every workstation consists of different type of machines so suppose the workstation number 2 have any kind of technical difficulty that due to that difficulty you can add some decoupling inventory to make faster the flow of materials so due to involvement of decoupling inventory that does not uh, slow down or stop as the production aside that is the concept behind decoupling inventories moving to the next one so here the typical example suppose uh, in case of uh, decoupling inventories the inventory decouples in different stages it might be raw material or work in progress or finished good inventory for example customer has inventory of 10 days of for consumption i repeat the customer has inventory for 10 days of consumption for 10 days the customer is decoupled from the producers and so the so that the decoupling inventory is one of which that decouple the customer and producers clear so move into the next one suppose here the typical another example suppose you are manufacturing of uh, the manufacturing of video game consoles the figure is given in case of video game console that requ required assemble of several sensitive parts such as central processing unit is there the internal hard drive is there the motherboard is there the different video component ports are there so when the process involve building microchips the microchip required power and central processing unit slow down the entire production line grinds to the halt so you just decouple the inventory or you allow the decoupling of inventory that the manufacturer to ship it consoled on time while resolve the issue of microchips that is the concern whenever any kind of difficulty occur in case of shipment 
to just involve some decoupling inventory to making faster production activities. That is the concept. So till that, you have any doubt, you can ask me. Any doubts? Any doubts from your side? 